my new couch needs a new blanket. Shout out to these clearance blankets. I like these ones. Oh, somebody asked me why I was up and turned so early. I need to wash my hair and I was out of deep conditioner, so I think I'm the only person in Walmart right now. But yes, this is why I'm up so early. I need to stock up on some replenishing packs. Shout out to Walmart. Let me tell you something. Natural companies know how to get you. Now they got apple cider, root relief, and root rinse. I want it. Let me tell y'all something. I will start coming to Walmart at 7 a.m. I am the only motherfucker in here. Me and the employees. Watch there still be a line. <laughs> Y'all need to get up. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Free smoke, free smoke, hey, free smoke, free smoke, hey. Hitting hills while I pause. Y'all still in up? Got the money coming in, it ain't no issues. I just fucked the rapper, bitch, I should've did shoes. Hey. Got the money. Baby mama fucking girl when the rest do. I just fucked the rapper, bitch, I should've did shoes. So the new red blanket I just gushed about, you know how you pop a blanket? Why did all this red shit come off the blanket? Fucking clearance. I said, well, I'll just pop it outside. Look at all the shit that came off this blanket when I popped it. What the fuck? Now that my house is clean, it's time to wash my hair. My hair hasn't been curling correctly, so I think I need some protein and some deep treatment. Let's go. When your mama won't let you on the couch. Stay on your couch. Get off mine. Here's confessions of a naturalista. I used to always talk about girls who went natural. Like, why the fuck would you go natural? But let me tell you something. I love it. Because just seeing how my hair reacted to this protein treatment, like this is amazing hair. Like, oh, that looks so good to me. The Eastern boys and Western girls. Okay, I think they're both tired. You tired now, Maggie? Amy, you tired now? You finished? Good evening, Snapchatters. Good evening. I've been asleep all day. Whew, but hey, y'all. As Maggie and I enjoy a walk in our favorite neighborhood, there's something that I want to discuss care to hear a story as we all get deeper and deeper into this snapchat world I've been noticing some shit and the easiest way to sum it up is to steal the thoughts of one of my favorite snappers so you guys see you next snap okay random thought so snapchat is a great community for connecting with other people but it's not sustainable and what I mean by it's not sustainable, I mean like 
once you've connected with a whole bunch of people, it's hard to maintain. It's hard to maintain that connection, keep up with everybody that you've connected with and watch their stories. Like how? I've seen a few snappers on here mention who their go-tos are, who they watch first, who they make sure to look at. And I myself, I myself do the same. And truer words were not spoken. It also brings me to something else I saw on Snapchat. See you next snap. The other day on Miss BB Snap, she said that someone messaged her and was like, hey, why haven't you watched my snaps yet? First of all, I wish a motherfucker would message me and ask me why I haven't seen their snaps, but thankfully my followers don't try me like that. But it does lead me to this. I do agree with Nadine. I miss the days when I had such a short follower list that I could just watch everyone's snaps, but literally there is no way. I can say that I am so thankful for all the people who say they have to watch my snaps first. A lot of people are like, Ruth, I save your snaps for last, or I have to watch your snaps first, and I thank you. But like everyone says, keeping up with snaps is hard. Like, it's hard for even me. I have my people that I have to watch daily, and then I just skip around. I don't know how you guys maintain your snaps, but I have my core people, and then for the rest, I just play Russian roulette and randomly watch snaps on random days. So I guess this whole tirade is just to say, Maintaining snaps is hard as fuck. I know that everyone's feeling the same struggle, but you know, just make sure you watch my snaps, really. Oh yeah, and that um, speech that I posted was by the beautiful Miss Nadine, my favorite Canadian. Make sure you screenshot and follow. Oh wait, I thought I was done ranting, but I'm not. The snaps are back to back, but me and Maggie actually walked a bit further and I have something else to say this is gonna sound really mean but I mean it some of y'all don't need to be followed like some of y'all are just snapping for like y'all auntie them I don't need to watch those snaps it was my girl Kay Blake who said it on her snap like I'm not finna post all my people snaps because y'all need to get some better content like some people snap wait let me there's some people who are about this snapchat life and then there's some people who just use snapchat to watch snaps and I think there should be disclaimers next to their name like, they should have their name and like, I ain't really about this shit. So I don't waste a follow and just see you eating food and driving to work and you don't really even say anything. I feel like I'm all over the place with this random walks with Ruthie rant, but hopefully you get the point that I'm saying. It's just hard with the Snapchat follows. That's all I'm trying to get at. Oh, the block is lit today. The block is lit. Everybody knows Maggie, but the block is lit. As I'm still walking, <laughs> these snaps are back to back, but time has passed. Um, I do have a tip though. If you do mention me in your story or want me to watch it, send it to me. Like, I don't mind if you send me one of the snaps of your story so I know that I need to watch it later. I don't mind that. But don't send me your whole fucking story in my DMs. Don't do it. But as Maggie and I make it back to the house, I, I'm about to share a snap code. I've been following this dude for about a week and um, I got a crush. Well, we won't say a crush. I would just say that I really like their snaps and they have the same taste in music I do and they have the sweetest smile and uh, screenshot and follow. But we made it back to the house. I guess I'll go finish my hair now. <sighs> First of all, can we talk about my new PJs? They're inspired by Angie. It's just a whole bunch of makeup shit and I don't even wear makeup, but I bought them for Angie. <laughs> But because I don't have any shame and tell you guys the truth, this is what happens when you wash your hair and fall asleep. <laughs> this is just a matted mess. And now I have the pleasure of stretching it out. So here's the before.